Hello, I'm Haz, and I'm going to tell you a story while you watch this painting that I did. This is the story of Nia Benair. Once upon a time, there lived a man named Oshan. He was the king of a land called Erin, and though the land was plentiful, and he had lots of loyal friends, a sadness stirred in his heart. There was something missing. Then one day, as he went out for one of his regular hunting trips, something irregular happened. There was a giant white horse upon which sat a beautiful maiden, the most beautiful maiden Oshan had ever seen. He immediately chased after her and when he caught up to her he was like, hey girl, who the hell are you? She introduced herself as Nia Benair from Tirnanog. She had come to request that Oshan marry her and go back to Tirnanog with her. Some of his friends had their reservations about this random pretty lady on a horse who'd come to take their king to her house in another land. But Oshan was like, uh, yeah, I want to go. Nia told him that Tirnanog was a land of everlasting youth that you reach by riding over the waves. And Oshan was so in love that he was like, Yeah, girl, I'm coming with you. Aunardon and Dunardanom. So off they went across the sea. As they rode the beautiful white horses across the sea, they saw many wondrous things, but nothing could prepare Oshan for the absolute splendour of the castle of Tirnanog. It rose up out of the clouds and the waves, and had turrets coming out the wazoo. Oshan was introduced to Nia's father, the King Ri, and everybody was just happy, living their lives. Oshan was fitting in well and chuffed with his decision. But after three years had passed, he began to feel a stirring of homesickness. He told Nia he wished to go back to Erin, and she reminded him, as it's the land of everlasting youth over here, time doesn't move in quite the same way. It may have felt like three years had passed, but it had actually been 300 years. So basically, Oshan, everyone you've ever known and loved is dead and gone. Oshan still wished to return, so Nia just told him, never set your foot on the ground, just stay on your horse and everything will be fine. And Oshan was like, okay, I'll stay on the horse. So off he went, back to ride over the waves and returned to his homeland, Erin. But when he got there, he found that indeed, everyone he'd ever known was gone. All the settlements had changed, and even the shape of the land was slightly different. Oshan was in obvious distress, but then he came across a man who required his help. The man was trying to lift a boulder, but he was old and weak and couldn't do so by himself. Oshan offered his help and leaned down from the horse to help the man move the stone, but he toppled. As Oshan hit the ground, his horse disappeared and he began to age immediately. The old beggar who he'd tried to help was a kindly man and took Oshan back to his house and nursed him there while his life faded and he died. The end. Tirnanog is a mythological otherworld from Irish folklore, but Nia Benair is a Welsh twist on it that was written as a rock opera stage show. So go and check that out if you want to enjoy the hell out of your life for an hour or two. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. For more stuff like this, go to my Instagram and YouTube channel, both of which are has John Art, because I'm really inventive when I name my accounts. But nothing could have prepared o Owen. Who's Owen? No Owen over here, just an Oshan. Table for Owen. No, because he didn't reserve any, it's for Oshan.